Hey Earth Signs, it's your new moon in Taurus reading. All right, and it's your girl, the Empress Chanel, coming at you. Look in the description box so you can get um, the link to get your birth chart so you can watch your sun, moon, and rising. Maybe get a full picture of, of what might be going on. This is going to be a short, small reading um, for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. I've already pulled some oracles and got one tarot card out here and I'm going to clarify them. So for Capricorn, you got don't let your past hold you back and self-reflection. I pulled from the Moonology deck and the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. Taurus, you received Look at the Bigger Picture and Super Moon Attraction. And Virgo, you received Emotions Are Running High, Super Moon, and Queen of the Moon Sovereignty. All right. Alrighty, so for Capricorn, let's see why the Two of Swords is here. I'm feeling like you need to make a decision, a decision to um, go out on life. Um, but you're doing a lot of self-reflection. You're holding yourself back. Um, it, it, you're you're self-reflecting on things that you may have done in the past here. Um, and that's why I don't let your past hold you back is here. Um, you got to take the blindfold off and you got to decide to just go for it. Go for what you know. You have to be bold and, and make that first move. Okay, um, Capricorn. So you have the Four of Wands and you have the King of Swords. So yeah, I'm feeling like it's like don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past put you... Um, like you can be in the King of Swords energy. The King of Swords is wise. The King of Swords has been through every single other number of the swords. He's been from ace all the way to 10 to knight through that queen energy. And now he is that king. So he's been through every type of heartbreak, betrayal, uh, just underhanded type of energy, self-sabotage. He's been through everything that you could imagine. So he definitely has his heart tucked away, but he is wise beyond his years because of that. And I'm feeling like it's saying um, you have something that you want to celebrate, something that you want to move towards, something that you're trying to manifest, some sort of stability um, or foundation with someone or a partnership that you're trying to manifest with someone. But you can't let the past um, energy of your past hurt, your past pain and having your heart locked away. You can't let that hold you back. You have to look within. You have to look at yourself and you have to see how you contribute to um how you contribute to you not being able to move forward in um, the space that you want to move forward in and um, make that first move and, and to start over again. Maybe you want to get yourself back out there on the dating wheel or put yourself back out there um, in the in the work field or or whatever it is that you're trying to do that you're trying to start over. Um, you ha you're having to look within. You're having to take self-reflection and. Um, you know, it's okay to look at the past as far as, you know, to to go within so you can heal yourself. But once you've healed yourself, don't make yourself so closed off that you um, will be resistant to celebrating or you'll be blind to seeing that you have a lot more to celebrate um, in your future, that you have a lot more coming in. Okay, Capricorn. All right, Taurus. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Taurus? Why is the Eight of Wands here? All right, gratitude. Eight of Cups and nine of wands okay so we have two eights here okay look at this here on the attraction and super moon i feel like this person is sitting there they're stagnant they're stuck um with the other card that was pulled here look at the bigger picture they're trying to sit there they're looking at this super moon that they're looking at but they're on this road and it's almost like they're stuck they don't know which direction to go if they should go towards the super moon or you know if they should just sit and reflect um on the bigger picture that is at hand but i feel like this is saying that um this what you're attracted to it, it's almost like um attracting you to it in a way that is so magnetic that um 
it's literally like forcing you towards it with the eight of wands here the eight of wands is sagittarius energy eight of cups is pisces energy nine of wands is also sagittarius energy so you or someone in your energetic field may have sagittarius in your chart but you um, are looking for expansion you are looking to grow you're looking for growth in some realm of your life in some sort of area of your life um and I'm feeling like you had to move forward. You had to uh, remove yourself from certain situations. You had to uh, remove certain people um, from your life. But I'm feeling more or less this is like you walking away rather than you um, moving other things out. I'm feeling like you had to take a step back. You had to take a step out of the situation. Um, you had to uh, surround yourself in... Um, you know, not a defensive type of energy, but you kind of had to cloak yourself in... Um, in an energy to where you can, um, you know, get ready to, to release whatever it is that you walked away from. Um, you're looking at the bigger picture. You're trying to move forward. Um, you're going towards your fulfillment and, uh, and what you need to go towards. And you're just dropping out a lot of things in your life that no longer served you. You're walking away from those things. What is the Eight of Cups? What are they walking away from? It's like Eight of Wands is moving away really fast and Eight of Cups is walking away. So you're definitely leaving something behind that no longer serves you. The Nine of Wands is someone who took themselves out of the situation. They stepped outside of the situation to reflect, to look at the bigger picture. Okay, You saw that, um, you know, this just wasn't for you. You're, you're starting to see that, you know, your life needs to change. It needs to, to reflect. You need to go ahead and go down that road. Um, but you can't stay where you're at. You can't stay stagnant. Mm -hmm. Eight of eight of um, cups is clarified by the nine of swords. This is something that you know about you great stress. Something that you really had to think about. You spent sleepless nights um, thinking about making this move, but you went ahead and you you boldly made that move. And I'm feeling like you're protected um, since you went about things the correct way. That um, you know you're you're gonna find what you need. You're gonna um, you're safe. Um, on this journey um, you can go out there and, and find whatever it is that you're passionate about all right, and do whatever it is that, that you set out on that journey to do that you walked away from everything else to do okay Virgo why is the Ace of Swords here You were illuminated to some sort of truth. We have justice here. Some sort of truth that um, was um, able to balance out your life. Um, this may have been some sort of divine truth that you were looking for. Um, you found sovereignty um, in the fact that you are the ruler of your own self, of your own emotions, of your own realm, of everything around you. Um, your emotions are running high because you may be um, manifesting right now during this full moon, new moon, I mean. Um, we have the high priestess, yeah. Um, so yeah, you may be manifesting here. You're receiving downloads. You're receiving truths um, from the divine. Uh, the high priestess is very, very intuitive. She also uses the knowledge that she has gained here in the 3D. So I'm feeling like um, you are embodying this um, divine feminine, what male or female. You are embodying this divine feminine energy, this energy of um, creation of uh, intuition, of balancing. Um, you're gaining a lot of knowledge. You are, it's self-knowledge. You're working on yourself. Um, and you just got a lot of magic in you right now. Like you, you, you are going towards something big. You know something big is gonna happen in your life. You know it intuitively. This is a, like a big moment that you've been waiting for, that you've been studying for. It's almost like you've been waiting your whole life to get to this moment. Um, so you can finally just you know be in partnership with self be in partnership with your higher self that you've um always wanted you may be receiving emotions are running high because you may be receiving a lot of downloads right now like a lot of downloads like your intuition is probably on 
a thousand right now. So your emotions are running high. You may be an empath. You may be feeling everything that's going on around you. Um, large crowds may bother you right now. You may um, feel the need to be alone, um, to have sovereignty, to be in your own realm, in your own space so that you can recharge and regroup yourself. But I'm feeling like you are finding balance um, in your life. Um, you've been um, given a revelation of how to balance out your life uh, your practicality and your spirituality um, high priestess with spirituality justice with practicality um, you know ace of wands here practicality so it's like um, you're learning how to balance everything out you're learning how to discern between your emotions other people's emotions um, things that you should act on things that you shouldn't act on you're just gaining new knowledge about yourself about life and about the things that is going on around you okay um, yeah all right you guys so um that's all i have for you for this new moon in taurus reading i hope you gained a little bit of insight into something these were just short little tidbits for the new moon i think i might do this often maybe on the new moon only i don't know what you guys think about it give me a thumbs up if you like it um and um yeah so if nobody has told you today i'm gonna tell you i love you and peace